spot fixture or beam fixture? Which one is right for you and your applications? Hey everybody, I'm John Schwilly with ADJ Lighting and I am here at Musical.ly Yours with Digital DJ Gear to talk to you about moving head spot fixtures and moving head beam fixtures, why you wanna use them and what applications they're gonna work best at. Before we jump in, please like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on notifications for more videos from us here at digitaldjgear.com. To start off with the similarities between the two different types of fixtures, both beam and spot moving heads can be LED based or lamp based systems. They have color, they have gobos, they have prisms, they have zoom and focus sometimes. They even have frost or diffusion filters, but that's pretty much where the similarities end. Their differences in how they apply those are very unique and very cool. So to start off with a couple of the differences on these two different types of fixtures, we'll talk about the beam angle. Now, most people don't really know what beam angle is, but it's how wide or narrow a light fixture can be. With a beam fixture, they're typically a fixed angle, so they're not gonna zoom a lot. Uh, if they zoom at all. This Visi Beam 12RX, for instance, is set to three degree beam angle, and it will not get any bigger than that. Whereas the Focus Spot 4Z can start out at 11 degrees and zoom out to 22 degrees for more application use. The next difference is the strobing effect. Now, because a beam fixture looks best with a lamp in it, it's gonna have a metal strobe shutter, which is great. It's gonna be really quick. It's not going to be the electronic LED strobes that people are used to in a spot fixture, but it's going to just look amazing with a little bit of haze in the room. In addition to the strobe effect that we just talked about, due to the metal strobe shutter on a beam fixture, they don't dim quite as cleanly and nicely as a moving head spot does. So if you're going to highlight a first dance, if you're gonna highlight somebody at a podium for a conference, if you're trying to spotlight the person, you wanna use a moving head spot because it will dim properly and then you can adjust levels as needed for your event without worrying that it's not gonna look as clean. That's a really good application for a spot fixture. The next thing to talk about is gobos. Now, for those of you familiar with these moving lights, gobos are little templates, metal or glass, that go inside the light to change the way the light is being output. It's a template or a pattern. On a beam fixture, gobos are static, which means they don't rotate, and they're usually stamped directly into the metal wheel, which means you can never change them. Whereas on most moving head spotlights, specifically on the Focus series from ADJ, they're all made with rotating and replaceable gobos. So you can put different logos on your events, you can put uh, different names for your different clients. Uh, if you're doing a wedding, you can put up their names, you can put up the year, you can do a person's birthday party with their name on it, and you can get those custom gobos made at any major gobo manufacturer. To add to the cool effects that uh, gobos can do in both of these lights, there's also different prisms featured in spot fixtures versus beam fixtures. Typically, in a spot fixture, you're gonna get a four facet prism or even a six facet prism, but they don't typically go beyond that. Whereas in, especially in the Visi Beam 12RX, there is a 24 facet circular prism that creates an amazing tunnel effect with gobos in, not to mention really accentuates the ability to do split colors in the color wheel. So next up is a motorized focus. The majority of beam fixtures, especially in the DJ market, don't have focus motors. Luckily though, this Visi Beam 12RX unit does have a focus motor, so you're gonna get a far more distance use out of this fixture. You can shoot this over a couple of football fields and still get a cool image and a cool beam of light all the way down. Whereas most 
moving head spot fixtures are going to have both zoom and focus, allowing you to use them in shorter throws as well as some longer distance throws. And then you can adjust the focus for your gobo patterns as needed to highlight any scene in a room or to highlight a person. They work especially well on a dance floor when you're highlighting a first dance. They both have pan and tilt movement, but the motors in a spot fixture are intentionally slower. And that's in order to help you track a person as well as to provide very smooth movement on a dance floor or when using them dimmed out in their intensity. A beam fixture has really, really quick pan and tilt movement in order to help with the overall aerial effects and those really cool strobes that it can be coupled with where these fixtures would be best suited for your applications. So right off the bat, a spot fixture is great for any corporate event, any TED talk, any uh, AV event, uh, any production event, any wedding, any DJ event where you wanna highlight people or highlight tables or highlight set pieces. Any theater application, house of worship, these fixtures work absolutely perfectly in those type of venues, especially with rock concerts, music, uh, any of that kind of stuff. Spot fixtures are used specifically to point on the talent or the performer or the DJ. It's so that people can see them. People can, you can highlight the person with the moving head spot. A beam fixture is going to be used pointed a little towards the audience, above their heads or down towards their feet. And you're going to, again, do a lot of pan and tilt movements. You're going to do a lot of cool color changes. You're going to do cool strobe effects. And that's all because the beam fixtures are far more noticeable thanks to their fixed narrow beam degree. As for beam fixtures, you really want to keep those moving. If you keep them in one position for too long, you could actually set something on fire. It does happen, but they do have warnings on them. They do have disclaimers written on them and in the manuals, but they look amazing with a little bit of haze in the room, point them up towards the ceiling, get the movement going, get the color going, throw in a different gobo, throw, it, throw in the prisms. They just look wonderful with haze and as aerial effects. You don't want to point them directly at people, but you can have them moving around people similar to the way a laser would work. Using haze is the way you want to go when you're using a beam fixture. So if you're unable to use haze in a particular venue, then you're going to want to use a spot fixture for those applications because you'll still get good effects out of it. You'll still get really good dance floor lighting. You get really good DJ lighting and the ability to highlight people, but you don't have to feel dependent upon haze in the room in order to get cool effects out of this. So those were the key differences, similarities, and best application use for both moving head spot and moving head beam fixtures. Once again, we used the ADJ Focus Spot 4Z for our spot fixture and the Vizi Beam 12RX from ADJ for our beam fixture example. These lighting fixtures and many more are available on digitaldjgear.com and in store at Musically Yours in New Jersey. Thank you, like and subscribe. We hope you enjoyed this video from Digital DJ Gear and Musically Yours. Be sure to leave a comment below if this video helped you and check out these other videos we think you'll like. To learn more about all of our pro audio, lighting, DJ and recording equipment, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel now. Until next time, thanks for watching.